All right, let's look at workout number three in the 2022 BFP Fitness Combine Meet in the Middle. So this begins with partner one on one side of the room, partner two on the other side. Uh, partner one is performing 40 total dumbbell snatches, while partner number two is completing 20 total box step overs or box jump and overs. Let's take a look at some snatches that might be acceptable. So the dumbbell does have to touch the ground every single rep, at least a little bit, whether you're switching hands every time or you're switching every three reps, every five reps, whatever it might be, you have to touch that dumbbell to the ground for that rep to count. And it's 40 total, so it does not have to be 20 each side. Now, you can also switch on the way down as long as that dumbbell still hits the ground, and that counts as well. One, you can switch again, and that would be two, and so on. Let's take a look at some no reps. So switching on the way up, not a good way to do it, not efficient, and then also just flat out would not work for you. So we don't switch on the way up. We switch on the way down or at the ground. On the box jumps, you can jump on and off. Notice both feet touch the ground, both feet touch the box. So this is one way to do it. It's the most exhausting way, but it is also probably the fastest way. Again, both feet on the box and both feet off the box. You can also face and do the same thing. You turn around if you want to control your pace a little bit more. This is a good way to do it, and this version is passable as a rep. You can also step down off the box if you're jumping on it, because again, both feet are touching the box and both feet are touching the ground. On the uh, step overs, you can step on and then jump off. That is passable as well, as long as both feet touch the box and both feet touch the ground on both sides. So some things that... Uh, an appropriate or faster way to do step overs, just a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So it's a quick little transition, but both feet are touching the box and both feet are touching the ground. So that is passable as well and probably the fastest way to do a step up. This is a no rep on our step ups and overs. Notice only one foot's touching the box each time. Even though both feet are touching the ground, they're not both touching the box. So that is a no rep, whether I'm jumping or stepping. This is also a no rep. So you're getting one foot touching the floor each rep, not both feet each time. So this does not count as a box up and over either. Now, after these two items are completed, partner one's gonna hit up, if you're a guy, 20 calories on the bike, ladies 15, same for the ski erg. Guys, you got 20 calories on the ski erg. Ladies, you got 15 calories on the ski erg. There's many different ways you can do these, both you know, jump around, you can do just arms, just legs on the bike, whatever works. Then you're gonna partner up, line your, his inside foot with my inside foot so that we don't take up too much space. And you have to do in sync burpees for 20 reps. We don't wanna hit heads, so that's why we staggered ourselves. Now, we're gonna go down together. This is for the competitive division. Uh, chest to ground, and then come up and do a high five. So for these to be in sync, the chests have to hit the ground at the same time. If they do not, it will be considered a no rep by your volunteer judge. So again, chest touches the ground at the same time in the competitive division, whether co-ed or not co-ed, for it to count as a rep, and then you hit hands at the top. So here's a good example of what does not count when we're looking at chest to ground. So if you come up and you miss hands, oh no! That counts as a no rep. You've got to hit hands at the top because it makes everybody stand up at least a certain amount. So you want to reset, get back into it, hit hands, let those chests hit at the same time so those reps can start counting. This would be an example of a no rep where we're just out of sync on our chests hitting the ground. This one's pretty simple. You'd have to stop, resync up, or put one person stay on the ground, the other person catches up in order for that rep to count. So this is uh, your example of a burpee if you are doing the just for fun division. You do not have to touch your chest to the ground if you do not want to. So you still have to high five, but for that to be in sync, we just want to see those feet hit the ground at the same time out back kind of like the chest touching the ground. Same rules apply for no reps on the just for fun division. If we get out of sync, so going down here, notice our feet are hitting the ground at different times and we missed the high five as a result. That would be, then one more no rep would be to do it in sync burpee and come up and do a chest bump, although very fun, does not count for the workout. So let's review the workout, competitive division. Athlete one starts with 40 total single arm dumbbell snatches while athlete two is completing 20 box jump or box jump and overs or step up and overs. Then athlete one goes to biking 20 cows or 15 cows. Men get 20, women get 15. While athlete two goes to the ski erg, men 20, 
women 15, then they meet in the middle for their synchronized chest to ground burpees in the competitive division for 20. Then they will switch. Athlete one will do what athlete two has done, and athlete two will do what athlete one has done. So in the just for fun, everything is the same. The weights are different. Uh, we got 35 pound dumbbells for the men, 20 pound dumbbells for the women. The boxes are the same height, 24 inches for men, 20 inches for women. And on the two machines, 20 cows for the men and 15 cows for the ladies. Going back to competitive, you can see here the men's dumbbell weight was 50 pounds, the women's dumbbell weight is 30 pounds, and then 24 inches and 20 inches respectively for the boxes. Again, it's important to note the competitive burpees, chest has to touch the ground, and the just for fun division is the chest does not have to touch the ground. Both divisions do have to do the high five and the burpees in the middle. Remember, athlete one will complete the snatches and then the bike, while athlete two completes the box and the ski erg, then they complete their burpees together, and then they will switch. Athlete one will then go to the, the ski erg, and then the boxes, while athlete two then goes to the bike and finishes with the dumbbell snatches. So big shout out to all the sponsors who are involved with the event this year. It wouldn't be the same without y'all. Remember, we are raising money and food for Share the Table NC through our car bash. Uh, through the raffles and through the food drive. Look forward to seeing everybody there. Let's go.